All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to be preparing the network for MPLS traffic engineering. We're going to start off with some baseline show commands of show IP Ceph, show MPLS traffic engineering topology brief, and link management summary. We're then going to enable two debug commands, debug MPLS traffic engineering areas, and link management events to see how things unfold as we prepare the network for MPLS traffic engineering. And then we're going to finish up with two verification show commands of show MPLS traffic engineering topology brief and link management summary. So let's take a look at the network. We're going to be working here on router 2. Router 3 and router 4 have already been prepared for MPLS traffic engineering and we're only going to be working here in OSPF area 0. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the show IP Ceph command here in router 2 because to do MPLS traffic engineering you have to have Ceph enabled on your router which is done by default on Cisco routers and we also made sure that it was enabled in a previous video cheat sheet but I just wanted to show it here because once again it does have to be enabled to to be able to implement MPLS traffic engineering. So now I'm going to do the other two show commands are show MPLS traffic engineering topology brief and link management summary. There shouldn't be a whole lot of information underneath these two commands because we haven't done anything with traffic engineering yet on this router and there's not. There's, there's no link generation. There's just, there's just not any information there. So let's enable our two debug commands so that we can see how things unfold as we progress through this video cheat sheet. All right, so let's talk about what it is we're going to do. First of all, you have to make sure that Ceph is enabled on the network. We have already verified that it is, but that's the first thing you need to do. Second thing you need to do is you need to prepare your routing protocol, in our case, OSPF, but you need to prepare the routing protocol to be able to handle MPLS traffic engineering. So we're saying that OSPF area 0 is our area that's, that's going to be enabled for traffic engineering and we're going to hard code the router ID for MPLS traffic engineering to loopback 0. Once again I always recommend that you hard code it a router ID any chance you get. Then once you prepared the routing protocol then you prepare the router itself to be able to support traffic engineering. So once the routing protocol is prepared once the router is prepared, then you prepare the interfaces to be able to support traffic engineering and then also RSVP to dynamically allocate bandwidth to your tunnels. And this is the total amount of bandwidth that you are going to allocate to traffic engineer tunnels, which this is 5 megs. This is in um, kilobits, so 5,000 kilobits is 5 meg. So going, going through this interface, we are going to allow a total of 5 meg worth of RSVP bandwidth for tunnels and we're going to do that on both. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste all that in and once again we are just preparing the network to be able to run MPLS traffic engineer tunnels. First you ensure that Ceph is running, then you prepare the routing protocol, then you prepare the router, then you prepare the interfaces. So let's come over here and we're going to do our show commands now. Show MPLS traffic engineering topology brief and link management summary. And before we didn't have a whole lot of information and now we do. Got tons of information. So before we, we didn't have anything, but now we've got a system ID of two. We've got uh, some, some IGP IDs from three to four, because once again, they were already prepared. And so as far as the topology goes for traffic engineering, this is what we're look like, looking at, which this is our area zero routers. And then you also have with the show MPLS traffic engineering link management summary down here, you have more information about your neighbors, the area, and the interfaces. So once again, to prepare your network for MPLS traffic engineering, you ensure that Ceph is running, you prepare your routing protocol, you prepare your router, and you prepare your interfaces. I highly suggest that you do it in this order.